dear students welcome to this introductory lecture on effective technical communication the topic that i will be discussing in this lecture today is characteristics of effective technical writing technical communication includes the communication of specialized technical information it involves the delivery of clear consistent and factual information the very first characteristic of technical writing is being precise technical writing style should always be clear and written in simple and direct sentences it should be concise in its use of a minimum number of words to express the basic idea or concept it should not be wordy and should not digress from the main point the second characteristic of technical writing is coherency or being coherent coherence is achieved when sentences and ideas are connected and flow together smoothly coherence is an essential quality for good technical and academic writing the flow of ideas from one sentence to the next sentence should be very smooth and logical thus if the writing is not coherent or lacks coherency then it hampers readability to a great extent the next characteristic of technical writing is use of active voice good technical writing often uses active voice rather than passive voice sentences when active voice is used the subject acts for example john wrote the technical report whereas when passive voice is used the subject is acted upon the technical report was written by john active voice is considered more concise direct easier for readers to understand and is often considered to be the preferred choice for technical writing the next characteristic of technical writing is accuracy technical writing should be accurate accuracy means conforming to truth or fact accuracy in language is very essential which includes careful use of paragraph sentence structure and word choice to describe and analyze the topics very effectively on the other hand technical accuracy depends on the writer's conceptual mastery of the subject matter as well as writer's ability to analyze data without distortion and misrepresentation the next characteristic of technical writing is avoiding colloquial expressions in your writing colloquial vocabulary includes words and expressions that are used in everyday spoken language they do not provide the exactness needed in academic or technical writing thus technical writing should avoid different types of conversational language such as figures of speech 
cliches and idioms so do keep in mind that we are not supposed to write like we speak for example instead of using the colloquial expression easier said than done we may use the formal expression such as more difficult in practice the next characteristic of technical writing is avoid redundancies in your write up redundancies in writing are something that should be avoided to make the written piece more concise and easier to read at times redundancies creep into our write up therefore we need to be very conscious about this particular aspect of writing redundant expression is like beating around the bush and is a re- needless repetition of an idea hence it affects the conciseness or brevity of the document some examples of redundant expressions in writing are expressions such as close proximity combined together final outcome future plans revert back and so on redundancy displays an amateur quality of writing and hence should be avoided the next characteristic that we should be discussing is avoid contractions in writing a contraction is a combination of two words as one such as don't can't isn't shouldn't and so on the use of contraction is inappropriate in formal writing we should replace them with the two word version of the contraction for example instead of using the contracted form don't we should use do not instead of using the contracted form couldn't we should rather use could not it is acceptable to use contractions for informal writing but as far as formal academic or technical writing is concerned it should be avoided the next characteristic that we are going to discuss is maintaining a consistent writing style consistency is the key to your writing if you pick a style and stick to it you will make things easier for yourself as well as for your readers consistency makes your document look more systematic and professional switching back and forth between various styles and formats can be confusing for readers for instance keep your acronyms styled consistently throughout your document for example if united states is written or mentioned in your document as us with periods then you need to maintain that or follow that throughout your document it should not be us with periods in some sections and us without periods in other sections thus consistency should also be maintained in other aspects of writing such as use of hyphens in between words capitalization of particular terms or terminologies in your write up spellings of words and so on next important characteristic of technical writing is use of topic sentences the first sentence of each paragraph should tell the reader what the paragraph is all about topic sentences should make a transition from the previous paragraph do keep in mind to start a new paragraph when the topic changes and the last characteristic of technical writing 
that we are going to discuss in this lecture is that the technical write-up should have a proper beginning, a proper middle and an end. Each section or chapter should follow this structure. Very often it is seen that most of the sections lack a proper beginning and an end. You need to ask yourself what exactly you want to accomplish in a section. This is your beginning. Also you need to ask yourself what exactly you are going to do next and this is precisely your end. Thus, to sum up the entire lecture, I would once again mention the 10 important characteristics that we have discussed for technical writing. They are be precise, be coherent, use active voice, be accurate, avoid colloquial expressions. Avoid redundancies. Avoid contractions. Maintain a consistent writing style. Use topic sentences. And lastly, technical write-up should have a proper beginning, a proper middle and a proper end. Hope to come up with more videos. Thanks for listening.